This lesson deals with supplemental problem 2.8. You can find this problem in the course ebook in the chapter 2 supplemental problems on page 9. Given this schematic with a measured current of 1 amp, could you solve for the voltage V not knowing the resistor value? I'm going to do this as I do on many problems, just label as much as I can on the drawing. I also label the order in which I did the steps. This isn't the only way to find the answer, but it is one way. If there's one amp flowing into the 18 volt plus terminal, it must also pass through the 6 ohm resistor. So the voltage across this resistor is going to be 1 times 6 or 6 volts. Now at this node, I've got 3 amps entering, I have 4 amps leaving, and I have 1 amp leaving. So I have 5 leaving, 3 entering, I have to have 2 more to balance that equation. So that's my second step. That 2 amps passes through a 3 ohm resistor, so I get 6 volts. At this node, I've got 4 amps entering, 2 amps entering, and 2 amps leaving. That would mean that I have to have 4 amps leaving the node. In other words, 4 entering, 2 entering, 4 leaving, and 2 leaving. That 4 amps flows into the 4 ohms, it gives me 16 volts. Now I know the voltage across this element, the voltage across here, voltage across here, voltage across here, but not the voltage across here. Here's a path, a loop, where I know all the voltages but one. So let's do pure cost voltage law around that loop. We'll start here and work my way around. I have a rise in voltage of V, a rise in voltage of 18, a rise in voltage of 6, a rise in voltage of 6, and then a drop of 16. Bring the 18 on our side, I get then a minus 2, and then bring the 6 and 6, and it's a minus 12, and then a minus 14 total. And this is supplemental problem 2.8.